All right, so I'm gonna basically be under the engine or underneath the car and we're gonna take out the, if you'll notice, I have the um, 10 millimeter socket in there. And I uh, don't know if you can see the engine locking tool. Shine some light there. Mm, right there. Right there. A few moments later. All right, so I took it out. Uh, it's it's pain in the butt, but we got it out. Now I think it's gonna be the moment of truth, really, because we need to check. Oh wait, shoot! I forgot to take out those locking pins. So let me go ahead and take those locking pins out, and then uh, rev the cycle too. Uh, to, uh, to do two rev cycles and then uh, go from there. All right, so I'm just basically taking off the tool right now. This is a, I forgot what it is. It's a 13 millimeter. I'm just taking these off because I need to test to make sure that everything is going really well. Okay. I'm gonna this. Leave a part to in there. Okay, now we're going to rev the engine two cycles. So if these holes, you gotta go one round, another round. Same thing, the both are gonna have to spin, but you gotta go clockwise, you cannot go backwards. I already took off the uh, engine locking tool, so now we're gonna be making sure it goes smoothly. Uh, let me make sure this wire is out of the way. Okay. Oops. I wonder what's making that what's making that noise. It's coming from here. Okay. That's one.
So I figured out my problem and uh, these, <coughs> sorry, these rocker arms, if you notice, they're not really, one of them I noticed was not sitting properly on the equalizing hydraulic pistons. And I'm going to have to assume that's the issue right there. There's one on this side. This is the one that was slipping. I don't know if you can see how it looks a little slanted a little bit. And then same thing on this side. This one's not even sitting on there. Uh, where'd it go? Look at that. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to tear everything down again, but like I said, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna approach this since the engine doesn't wanna turn clockwise. Many hours later. So a quick update, I had to remove everything. Boy, it's, it's work. Uh, at this point, I really don't care about the sealant uh, being wasted. Uh, if I have to, I'll go buy just from locally. I'm not going to use the Genin one. That's the green stuff. If if I don't have enough in that tube left, I'll just have to just use uh, from the store. Um, same thing on this side. I had to open everything up. Um, supposedly... I had issues with, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this rocker arm right here was uh, actually bent this way. In fact, this one actually uh, went into its position on its own, so that really isn't a concern. However, um, so the one on this side right here, let me uh, move the light over here. Okay, so for this one, I had issues with with this one right here, or this one. What happened was this was so compressed that it was actually stuck in that position. So I had to use a flathead, pull it out. And then actually you can just take this off because there's a piston or whatever that's on here. You just push it out. It comes right off. And all I did was there was like this metal tab right here. See this? There's a tab. So here's a better way to explain this. So notice how there's a tab on this side and then on this side. It's like a metal clip. It clips onto that so that way when you pull this up, it moves it. So all I did was take it out. Uh, I pushed it back the, the, in the metal tab and then I squeezed the metal tab so that way it never comes out of it and then put it back in. So that took care of that. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm making sure that all of these are well aligned because I don't think I checked. Uh, no, I know I didn't check last time and uh, that's how, it, this is why caused such a huge issue and then not since I removed that all that stuff is right here <sighs> even the timing chain guides the tensioners as well so I'm gonna have to re-clean all this up and then reapply the paste same thing here but that's gonna be a later part that's not really a concern right now I think the concern right now is to get this engine to TDC. So in order to do that, I'm going to insert that locking pin. Let's see. I'm trying to remember where I put the locking pin. Oh, I think it should be underneath. And yeah, so I'm going to have to go don't mind that oil that's just from all the 
um, cleanup and stuff that I was doing. So I'm going to have to put the engine, uh, that pin, locking pin inside and then crank the engine clockwise until it locks in place. This could take me all day because I have to keep going inside, locking it, keep going back and forth, back and forth until it locks in place. Because unfortunately, uh, my camshafts uh, are not sitting properly uh, or they're not aligning properly. So um, I'm going to have to redo the locking. But this is going to take me the whole day, so I'm not going to really record it. I'm going to get to the point where it gets... So I'm going to do this while the camshaft and everything is out. There's no locking tool. So... It's going to take a while, but uh, hopefully it uh, goes in the right direction for me because, uh, boy, I don't want that feeling again. And this time I'm going to make sure that all of these will get locked in place. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do this and then post an update. Many unbearable hours later. So a quick update so far. I've cleaned the sealant off from underneath and then locked these in place. I did the same thing on the engine uh, heads as well. And uh, I, I cleaned off as much as I could. Some of that stuff that's on there is, uh, it's already hardened. So I'm gonna leave it as is because I'm gonna be putting on the camshaft guides uh, uh, back and forth until it sits properly in place in the locking position. Uh, if that, if that, if once that, once I'm successful in doing so, that's when I'll put everything back uh, and lock it in place. Like I said, uh, this sealant is already um, hardening in some of these areas, so. I can't do much about that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to scrape it off with my nails. But uh, it's coming off, it's just, it's gonna be a bit. So I'm gonna try to see if I can crank the uh, camshaft so that I can get this into TDC again. So, well, looks like I'm about to give it a try. Currently, I have the serpentine belt. I just put it back in place, and uh, I don't know if that's gonna make any difference. I did r remove everything from the back. There should be really nothing right now holding it. I just zip tied, zip tied the chains, so that way they don't move around as much while I'm gonna be going counterclockwise. Uh, just to demonstrate that I can't move it And I don't want to. I don't want to press any harder than it already needs to be. So uh, I've. I just uh, right now there's no locking hole in there. The the that crank locking hole or locking pin. So I'm gonna first try to slowly by slowly try to find a way to get it back in timing somehow.